Tim Smith of the Brandon Sun put all the elements of a setting sun, a smooth-as-glass ice-covered lake, and one dedicated skater to capture this moment on Clear Lake in Riding Mountain National Park, Manitoba. The judges described the image as a great catch in a spectacular setting that embodies the great Canadian pastime. John Renison of the Hamilton Spectator looked behind the scenes of a routinely staged event to capture this joyful moment between two young boys as they fall in behind costumed adults during a reenactment of the Battle of Stony Creek. The judges called it a moment that takes us all back to our own childhood memories. Mark Blinch of Reuters News Agency chose the perfect time of day and exercised patience in waiting for the right moment to catch a group of joggers running across the Humber Bay Arch Bridge in Toronto during extreme temperatures. The judges called this a beautiful and graphic image with clean and simple composition. For feature photo, the winner is Tim Smith from the Brandon Sun. This is awkward. Um, there's been so much amazing, in-depth, beautiful work tonight, and I took a photo of a sunset. <laughs> um, uh, I want to say congratulations to uh, John Renison and Mark Blinch. Uh, amazing work. Um, you know, Mark was just out here covering the Fort McMurray fires. Um, even more amazing work. Um, I want to say thank you um, to my wife, Natalie, for all her support and for putting up with me. Uh, congratulations to everybody here, and um, you know, big congratulations to all the people that support them, that support us, because um, you know, we get a little bit, uh, you know, that one-track mind, tunnel vision, we get a little obsessed with our work. Um, I also want to say thank you to uh, my editor, Matt Gertson, with The Brandon Sun, and to everyone at The Brandon Sun for uh, supporting me and supporting local journalism and photojournalism photojournal and uh, really supporting photojournalism in general. Uh, it's, it's an honor, uh, especially the way things have been going. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, my friends and my colleagues at the Halifax Chronicle Herald who are, uh, as many of you know, have been fighting for months on strike uh, just to do what they love. Um, I also want to give a shout out to my friends and colleagues at Post Media, um, you know, many of which who lost their jobs in recent months, uh, many of which I worked with here in Edmonton and who taught me uh, countless, countless things about the industry and that I'm grateful to. Um, and I hope that they all continue amazing work. Uh, lastly, this hasn't been an easy year for journalism. Um, and it's, you know, it's, each year we seem to be saying that more and more. Um, but I want to give a big shout out to everyone who, despite all that, despite all the newsroom BS, um, you know, all the stuff that uh, the industry is going through and that, uh, who still love what they do every single day. And uh, so, you know, glasses up to those people. And thank you very much. <laughs>